I want to talk to you a little bit about packaging and while there's so much to talk about here I really want to focus on the fear of packaging your projects so yesterday I had a friend come to me and she mentioned and I'm gonna read it because um, she says I need to reach out to Sarah Jakes and Megan good and I've been scared stuck on what I really want to ask them. This is another content creator, uh, a dear friend of mine, and and I thought, well, isn't that the point? The point is to, the more celebrity talent that you bring on, the more exposure your project can get, or, you know, the more pool you can potentially have to it. And so, you know, we went on to discuss her fears, and and she said that someone had come to her and said that, oh, I don't think you have enough viewership to pull that kind of talent to your project, which she, she knew in her heart wasn't true. And, um, and so my response to her was that, I, you know, I don't think God thinks that way about how I operate. Um, so I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm a very spiritual person and I'm a, a, a huge believer and just even over the last four months in my career the the doors that have opened for me uh the, the people who i'm communicating with as many of you know i'm writing a book 100 pitches and all of the mistakes that i'm making so that you don't have to and the doors that have been open to get the information that you need and that i need because you know i don't because i'm independent i'm 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 looking i'm growing into a professional space and there's so many things I need to know about networks and investors and all of these different things and so I just really you know because I'm passionate about getting the information to you I just went on this journey to ask people to get the, the best answers from from the higher up these executives and the way the doors have been opening and the things that I've been learning it's just unbelievable so for me to and I and I believe it's primarily because I'm setting out when I'm when I go in I'm thinking they're gonna say yes I'm gonna tell them what my passion is what my mission is for this book and for um, people just like me who are these independent creators looking to bridge the gap between their, you know, their independent projects and to the big and small screen. And they're going to say yes, because they're just as passionate. These people are working in development. They're, you know, they're, they're executive producing projects because they're just as passionate about entertainment and about getting the great stories told. And so my mentality is that they're going to say yes. So I wanted to talk about this because so many of us are too afraid and don't and don't get me wrong, I felt the same way many times before. I've had to step past my fear on reaching out to people uh because I feel that they are perfect for my project. And that's what this post is about today. That you must reach past your fear so that you can get your projects packaged. Unless you have a packaging agent, uh, a sales agent, or a packaging executive producer, or whoever whoever's gonna come on and help you package it, that means it's really left up to you. And by us technically being no one in the industry because we're so independent, then it's really kinda hard <laughs> to get these types of people um, on board and I've been blessed. I've been blessed to to get into the rooms to get behind the doors to to pitch um, Networks or executive producers or whomever I have really been blessed and it's all because I Have risen above the fear to ask so You can't let the fear stop you from asking the next thing I don't want the next mistake I don't want you to make is um, thinking that you don't have enough viewership thinking that because your name isn't great or you haven't done this project or that project that they're gonna say no automatically because that's not necessarily true um, there have been you know I've heard multiple 
a multitude of actors say, I'm just looking for a really great project or I'm trying to get out of being typecast or these are the roles I'm looking for. So I'll take projects because um, if, if, if the script is good, you know, so they're looking, you know, they're contending with other actors and 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 in the industry as well. So they're looking for meaty projects, uh, you know, things to showcase their work. And if your script is good or if your, your, um, your, you know, your project is really great and, and it, and you can marry, you know, what they're looking for and your passion or what you've written or scripted, then I say by all means, create a wish list, which is my next step, to create a wish list of talent that you want to connect. And again, I'm learning that packaging is about so much more than just actors. You know what I'm saying? But for the sake of this post, I only want to talk about the the the, the talent, you know, the, the cast and the crew and things like that. You should be writing a wish list. The actors, um, the directors, the DPs, the executive producers, producers, um, did I leave anybody out? Writers. Who, who is that wish list? And let me tell you, I'm going to say to start with your number one choice. Start reaching out to your number one choice. I um, reached out to you before and I said, um, you know, who, how do you go about packaging your projects? And someone came and, and gave great advice. They said, you know what, I don't bother with the agents because it's hard to get through the doors if you're unknown. But go to their managers because managers typically care about their talent. And so that's a great tip, I thought. That's an amazing tip. So take it. But please, from this, you know, moment forward, create your wish list, the top five people, the top ten people, however many there are, and start with your top choice. And you know what? Think of your project um, as being so good, so meaty, that they and, and and marry it with the with the actor with the director you know what projects have they not done who are they you know follow them on instagram see what their their likes and dislikes are maybe there's something in your project that you could use within your pitch to pitch them you know maybe maybe that's that's where you drive your pitch when you're reaching reaching out to them if they like dogs and your project is about a, a, a homeless boy who was left out, but you appeal to, you know, the fact that they picked up a dog that was once abandoned and they rescued it and it's become their number one dog. I don't know. I'm just kind of pulling and reaching oh, or maybe not, but that's kind of how you kind of have to think about, you know, how do I appeal to this director, this writer, uh, this DP to get on my project? How am I selling? What story am I telling to get them to think about potentially doing this project. And so that is kind of what I wanted to talk about today. One, don't let fear grip you. You have to rise above it. You have to think of your project as as good as it gets. And you have to be strong in, in that conviction that your project is amazing and that when you reach out to them, they're going to want to say yes. And you will get some no's, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, is that you believe in yourself. And so they'll, they'll believe in you, even if they pass. People believe in your passion. So today may be a no, but tomorrow may be a yes. Or, you know, this person may be a no, but the next may be a yes. So believe in your project enough to rise past your fear. Ask and ask big. Go for the top choices on your wish lists. And, um, and screw what people tell you about viewership and all of that. God has catapulted me into places that I never thought I would be because I don't, I don't have, you know, the background or, you know, the, even the know-how I'm sometimes sitting in meetings and I'm like, why am I here? Like, I really don't know. And, and sometimes I have to fake the funk. I'm going to be honest. So, you know, I just no longer believe, I believe that my path has been laid out for me and doors will open and or close, but either one, they are leading me exactly to the right directors, writers, producers, actors, and just on the path that I need to go to get my projects up and running. And so 